Hi y'all. Happy Wednesday. Back for Ways to Wear It Wednesday and we're live for the first time in quite a while. So I want to show you opening night pearls. This is a necklace that is a classic. It's a 40 inch long pearl necklace that a lot of women just love. It has the look and feel of the real deal. It has um, glass beads dipped many times in pearl essence solution and um, tied between each pearl. So it has the look and feel of the real deal, but not that ugly price tag. So um, just for about 40 bucks, you can get the opening night pearls. And many of you have this particular set. You also have the Wink, which is a blue gray version of this same thing, um, 40 inches of loveliness. Um, some of you even have the Sea Breeze uh, mint green 40 inch long pearls. This Everything I do today uh, with this particular necklace, you can do with that one. And I think even one of you has um, uh, recently purchased a black and copper version. I can't remember what it was called, but it's the same thing, 40 inches of amazingness. So uh, what I'd like you to do is just enjoy this video where I show you some ways to wear it uh, so that you can recall, you can go back and refer to this video and recall some of the different things that you can do with those lovely pearls. Of course, they're amazing for dressing up an outfit. You can even um, just dress up a simple tank. I have here just a, a olive green tank top with a little bit of uh, lace at the bottom and I put the pearls on there. It just looks so nice. It really dresses up. Those of you who know me well know that I have um, what I call Susanna's Fashion Formula for a put together look. You, uh, in three simple steps, you make yourself um, look all put together and it's really easy to do. You can do it super quickly. So step one is st start with a solid neutral colored top. Step two is you add a fashion piece. Well, I'm going to, uh, just show a scarf vest. Now I've shown on a previous video how to actually do this. So I'm not gonna take the time to show you the steps. Make sure you look me up though. I'm, I'm both on YouTube as well as on, um, uh, on this Premier Fashion by Susanna. You can find, go to videos and you can find how to do this. So this is a scarf, a nice big scarf that I'm turn, I have turned into a vest. That's step two. We're going to add a little fashion piece to this simple top and just make it pop. And then step three, of course, is you add your jewelry. So there is uh, the fashion formula for put together look. It did not take very long at all, and you should do this yourself. Um, so let's concentrate particularly on this necklace. So first of all, I think I'm just going to show you some of the things that, that you might consider pairing with it. Um, as far as rings and earrings and bracelets. So let's do that very quickly. The first is maybe maybe if you want to highlight some gold, you would uh, wear the Zoe earrings. These are a lightweight gold earring with the bling down on the bottom. Several of you have these. Uh, this pair of earrings, it's super great. So gold with bling. And then maybe to pair that with the Joan ring, it's also got the gold and let's see here how about the happy together bracelet set this is uh, also got some gold highlights in it I'll show you the whole set all four pieces come with a gold uh, stretchy a blush stone a uh, crystal stone with the gold all of these are stretchy and then the blue sparkly beads so Happy Together and, and Zoe would be great to pair with the opening night pearls. If you wanted to highlight silver, you might go with something like my favorite, lightweight blingy earrings. These are called Mallory. Super simple and light, uh, super lightweight and delicate, I should say, not necessarily simple. Would be a great uh, pairing with the opening night pearls. A simple little rhinestone bracelet, stretch bracelet. This one is uh, Coco, or one that I have on is Arm Party. Already has the pearls in it, and it's got the silver 
and the rhinestones. A ring. This is really a creative name. This one is called Pearl. It's got the silver, hammered silver, and the pearl in the center. Would look great. As well as perhaps even Classic Girl. If you're one of those on one of those days where you can't decide between silver or gold, could do both, right? We've got Classic Girl with a pearl in the center, gold around, and then the antique design of silver also. Okay, and then one last one thing I want to show you is this polish necklace. This is a silver chain with a toggle closure. Gets a little bit of a bigger chain down here toward the bottom with a lobster clasp that has two dangly pearls. This one is called Polish, and I'm actually going to try to remember to integrate that into the opening night pearls in just a bit. Another thing I always show but fail to mention very much is the Clip It tool. This is a $12 oval clip tool, hinge clip, that's going to allow us to shorten the opening night pearls and have them stay in place better. So those are some of the things that I would pair with opening night, pair, girl, uh, opening night pearls for you girls, right? All right, so here is opening night pearls. What I've done here on Stephanie is I've just doubled it and then done the uh, opera knot in the center strand to just create some interest on the bodice. Of course, you could leave that open and just wear two strands long. I'm going to show you how to use the clip it tool. So what I did with this was I just doubled it. We often will do that with our pearls. Put them around the neck, twist it, and flip it back up over the top to double. And then we adjust them in the morning and we're like, oh dear, that's just so perfect. And it lasts like <laughs> five minutes for you. So that's where the clip it tool comes in. We're going to take this hinge clip tool and just clip on one long end of the pearls. Reach down to the other end and hold it in your hand. And then you're going to reach behind your neck and clasp in the back. Now what that does is that holds those pearls in place better for you so that they're not rolling around your neck and uh, getting all tangled up. And then you can do your, your opera knot or whatever it is that you want to do here. So, of course, the opera knot is a great choice. I'll show you that one again. Just tie a knot. Use it as a centerpiece. Okay? Um, another thing we can do with the Clip It tool is we can triple it. I'm going to show you how to do that. A lot of you don't know how to do this, and it's like mind blown. Don't you just love that new emoji with the mind blown? Mm -hmm. I do too. All right, so we have the necklace all the way long. Did I say 40 inches earlier? It's 90 inches of loveliness. I think I said that wrong. So we're going to take the long necklace. We're going to crisscross. And then we're going to reach down and grab both sides of the necklace. I'm going to use the clip it tool right here, and I'm going to keep this in my finger. Reach behind my neck, that's the applesauce part, and there we triple the opening night curl. So that brings it up on the torso a little better. That's an option for you. Of course, we can also um, quadruple it. So let's unhook that. So to quadruple, we're going to go ahead and double the necklace. And then down at the bottom, where you have these two loose strands, we're going to hold those together and reach behind the neck and clip all four strands together in the back. So we brought the whole thing up and did a four strander. Okay, so that brings it up even a little higher on your neck. How about before we clip it on these four strands, how about if we just do a little twisty twisty, right? And then go behind and clip it together. 
There's another look you can do with the opening night pearls. Let's get that closer so you can see. All we did is twist it, rolled it up before we clipped the four strands together. So lots of options there, right? Here's one of my favorite ways to do this necklace. This does not require the clip it tool. All you do is you open up your necklace. I've got both ends of the necklace. I'm gonna just reach them out far away and I'm gonna twist, 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 twist. I'm not gonna get too crazy with this, but I'm gonna twist it decently. And see how the twisting is there? I'm gonna do, uh, um, bring my both ends together, hang it on my thumb. Then I'm gonna reach in the center and create an opening, put it over my neck. And there we have a twisted Y-shaped necklace. This is great because it helps to accomplish a very important thing, and that is it is a long necklace in the shape of the Y, and that's gonna elongate your torso and make you look taller and thinner. When you pair that with your step two of the um, fashion formula, which is your um, fashion piece, that helps elongate the center of your torso and makes you look taller and thinner. So very um, good information right there. Isn't that cute? Okay, so those are some of the ways to wear the opening night pearls. I'm gonna do one more mind-blowing trick for you. Let's go ahead and scoot Stephanie back because I wanna show you this up close. Um, how many of y'all know how to crochet? Huh? Do you have a good mom who taught you that important detail? Um, so I have opening night pearl just hanging loose. I'm going to start crocheting and to crochet the concept is just reach over, pull through, reach over, pull through. So I put this on my thumb and my middle finger and I'm twisting. I'm gonna twist this uh, necklace into the shape of an X and then I'm gonna reach over to the far side, the far side farthest away from me, and pull it through and start a crochet chain, right? So I'm crocheting this necklace. How crazy is that? Reach over, pull through. Reach over, pull through. Reach over, pull through. Wow, I feel like I am crocheting right here. So see what it's doing? It's creating this fun, crocheted, ropey look. So for those of you who don't crochet, you can still do this. Now, it's starting to get small, right? So if you want it to be short crocheted, you're gonna go ahead and put that over your head and finish the crocheting. To um, polish off the look here, you gotta get it to stay in place. So we're gonna go ahead and we're left with this little loop here. Um, we're gonna go ahead and hook on Put the little loop into the clip it. See that, that's my last little loop. And then I'm gonna clip it onto the strand that goes around the neck. And there we have the crocheted necklace with the opening night pearls. How cute is that? So those are some of the fun ways to wear the uh, opening night pearls. You can do this with the mint green sea breeze necklace that some of y'all still have, um, the blue gray, um, what is it called? Wink necklace. I think it was Copper Canyon was the black and the copper one. And then uh, let's go ahead and just show you the, the um, polished necklace paired with opening night pearls. And then we'll call it good, all right? So we've got the opening night pearls, we're gonna double them with the clip it behind Stephanie's neck. And I do want these to be kind of longer so that I can just show you the polished necklace. We can do the polished necklace as a centerpiece. Long on here, I hope you can see it, yeah. In this, long in the center or this one uh, doubles. We've got the toggle clasp and a little O-ring here, a bigger O-ring I should say. So we're going to put it on like a scarf around Stephanie's neck and toggle close right up here with that uh, polished necklace. So we, we doubled up the polished necklace, let those pearls hang down there, 
and then let the opening knife pearls frame it and give it a little bit more interest. So those are the ways to wear the opening night pearls. I hope that you enjoyed that video and that you can use this as a reference for those of you who do have one of those long 90 inch pearl necklaces, whether it be the opening night pearls, the sea breeze, the copper canyon, or the wink. All of these tricks can be done with that necklace. Thanks for watching Ways to Wear It Wednesday and we'll see you next time.